A couple years ago, I made a video that showed my, a program that I had made that sends text messages online to any mobile phone in the world. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple web-based SMS application. So I was really unprepared for the amount of attention this video would get. I had people reaching out to me, wanting me to help them with their project, wanting me to uh, tell them what the code was some people reached out to me via email a couple of you guys uh, found my phone number I don't know how and uh, really uh, asked for my help some I could help some I couldn't really help um, but this video is really to pick off uh, from years ago and show you just how to do it we'll also show you how to do international as well uh, fast simple Let's get straight to it. So first things first, you'll need a hosting plan. Basically hosting is where you drop your files so anyone online accessing your website will have it available. Uh, these are among the most popular ones online including Amazon's web services which is pretty much the industry standard. Uh, among web companies. Moving on is Google Domains which allows you to buy domain names for as little as $12 a year. And the genius about Google Domains like other uh, providers are they let you roll it into your cloud accounts. Uh, so Google it's fast, cheap, scalable for those of you who are interested and they offer you say a $50 credit just for signing up. Uh, but this is a uh, blog that basically tells you more about cloud, what it is. Uh, it compares Google's cloud services to Amazon's uh, web services. And if you guys are interested, this will be in the description below. But moving on, I'm going to be using GoDaddy. I like GoDaddy because I've known them for years. I am comfortable and I mean, I don't really need all the bells and whistles I don't think you guys need it either but hey it's it's your decision uh, whatever you're willing to pay for so so it doesn't really matter which editor you use some people like notepad others like sublime I like PHP storm uh, from IntelliJ so I'm going to be going over the code towards the end of the video and explaining a lot of what you see here so just sit back Enjoy the video for a minute and I'll be right back. So basically all you need to know in the HTML document is that I've included jQuery and Bootstrap. Uh, Bootstrap basically styles your, your uh, layout so uh, that's why I don't have any CSS files. And let's check out the finished product. So the finished product here is we've got an input for our name, an input for the number, a select to pick which carrier that we want. It also includes some um, international carriers as well. And then the message. So how does this whole thing work? So think of uh, sending a text message uh, just like you would send an email. So with an email, it's the username at provider. So if we wanted to send an email to our friend Jim, we would type in Jim his username at Gmail. So basically our message would be sent to Google's server. Google's server would then look for Jim's username or the username that we specified and then send it. Uh, so when we send a text message online, basically what's going on is we're sending, the message will go to the carrier's uh, web address. The carrier will then look for the number and will we'll direct the number, uh, our message to that number. So three easy steps. We type the message, it gets sent to the carrier, the carrier forwards it to the number. Pretty simple. Um, moving on to JavaScript. So for JavaScript, basically what we're doing here is we're doing an Ajax call. Uh, this all gets tricky uh, because if you haven't noticed, I 
this is the website that I'm going off of so if we type in index uh, you'll see that this is the root directory but you don't have to really worry about that in in the github file I've changed it you can modify it however you like just be aware that you will probably need to change this uh, to work with whatever configuration you've got going on so when you see this is basically taking uh, the values from our HTML from our uh, HTML file and sending it off to PHP so you see we're getting the value of name the value of number carrier message and then it's going to return a message from the PHP file when it's done and also on the console when it's done uh, so moving on to the PHP file the PHP file is pretty straightforward we're using a post to get the value that's being transferred from HTML to JavaScript and pushed up to the PHP file uh, and I also like to have a nice little disclaimer because even though in the in the US we get text messages for free uh, for the most part internationally that's not always the case uh, hence WeChat or whatever uh, whatever services people use um, so here you see the mail function and yeah that's pretty much uh, it's pretty much straightforward this message will be submitted after the function is all done so when we go back to the web page and I refresh the page uh, and I type something like da 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 da. Do, 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 do. Hello, YouTube. Uh, let's also include the time as well. So it's about 7:40 a.m. Give or take. Submit. Oh, and one way to check to see if your message really was sent is on every browser has this uh, you're going to be checking the developer tools so you can go up to the settings F or press F12 on your keyboard or right click on your mouse inspect elements and go to network so let's change this to 741 and when we submit you'll get message was sent from the PHP file right here so that means that this JavaScript function was executed and how can we check to see if the network got it so down in the network look for your PHP file mine was named sent.php we can see the body this was the response message sent the request we have the carriers information the message the name and the number and if we also go to the console we can see message sent so there we go. So if you check your phone, you should notice that the message would be sent in about a minute or two, uh, give or take. I sent it at 741 and received it around 742, so it's pretty fast. Uh, you can get the code on my GitHub, which is in the description below. As always, add, like, subscribe, comment down below. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.